afternoon. Uh, my name is Chef Lea, also known as Cooking in a Kitchen. Kumusta kayo mga kakuping ina, kakuping ama, kakuping anak, at kakuping ina niyong lahat. So for today's video, as I promised, I will be sharing another recipe with you na I hope maging interested kayo because the title of this recipe, the title eh, no? ang pangalan ng recipe natin for today ay Transparent Ravioli. So, di ba yung the usual na ginagawa natin is made out of pasta dough. Pasta dough. But today, uh, I will be sharing a recipe with you. Medyo modernist cuisine tayo ngayon because I am shifting to uh, doing a lot of modernist uh, recipes. So, ito yung pinatawag natin transparent ravioli. And ang main ingredient natin for today ay yung pinatawag natin santangam at agar-agar. So, malalaman natin kung anong ibig sabihin niyan in a little while. Okay? So, for today's ingredients, meron tayong, um, we have here celery and um, leeks and then baby po baby tomatoes. Ang gagawin lang natin dito, ito yung pinaka ano niya, garnishing. And then for the stuffing ng ravioli natin, we have here yung pumpkin na pinure ko na siya. I already have, I added some flavors in it already. And then we have bacon. We have butter here. And ito yung sinasabi natin, santan gum and agar-agar. We also be needing this one parmesan cheese to top everything para may lasa siya. And then, ang ating ingredients dito, we have 300 ml of vegetable stock, vegetable or meat stock. But today, I'm going to use dashi, dashi powder para mas may, medyo may lasa siya. And then, we will be needing also 200 ml of water. We will be needing, ito yung 1.2 grams ng santan gum and then 8 grams of agar-agar. So, ano ba yung santan gum, chef? So, santan gum, just like yogurt and vinegar, these, uh, these are derived from fermentation by bacteria. Okay? Just like any other um, uh, ingredients, um, ito ay derived from the fermentation ng, uh, using the bacteria nga siya. Okay? Parang thickening agent natin siya. It will serve as our thickening agent. It also replaces the gluten protein in wheat flour. Okay, so, kumbaga, siya ang mag act as our thickening agent and jelly. Okay, so excited na ba kayo? So, yan guys, ilalagay natin, almost, ano na, magbo-boil na yung ating water. So, ilalagay na natin yung dashi natin until na mag-boil siya. Okay? Okay. okay guys, so after na mag-boil yung ating pinaka-stock, which I use dashi for this one, I will add 200 ml of water. Okay? And then, doon na natin ilalagay yung santan gum at saka yung agar-agar. Okay? So there you go. And then, kailangan guys, blender ang gagamitin natin para mag-incorporate siya. Uh, ng, uh, ng incorporate talaga siya mag-blend siya together okay and then ibabalik natin siya sa, uh, sa pan and then we will bring this to boil again Like so. Continue stirring lang guys ha. Kailangan ito uh, haluin siyang mabuti. So nakikita nyo guys nagpo-form na yung ating stock into a thick sauce. So ayan. Since nakikita na natin na nagbabubbles na yung side niya, I think this is okay. And then we will strain this para matanggal natin yung mga bubbles, bubbles niya. Like so. And then guys, kailangan pala natin na maglagay ng uh, aluminum tray or stainless steel tray sa ref. Tapos doon natin ipopour ang ating um, 
Ito yung stack natin. Okay. Okay. So guys, ito, nilagay ko ito sa, sa freezer kanina for like siguro mga 20 to 30 minutes. Kailangan malamig siya. And then you start to pour yung ating uh, Yan. Kailangan pantay siya guys. Mabilis mag-set to guys. Ha. It's either you uh, put this again in the uh, freezer. So yan. Para mabilis. Kasi super duper bilis lang talaga mag-set nito guys. So ayan siya. Actually nagsiset na siya ngayon pa lang eh. See? So ayan. have this um, set natin siya. Sana magpantay-pantay lang siya. Okay? So, yan. Hindi na natin siya ibabalik sa freezer since ang bilis niyang mag-set, guys. Basta lumamig lang to, this is good to go. Guys, pumili ako ng bacon. Bacon ang pinapapang garnish natin or papang flavor natin because it has a strong flavor kasi medyo um, walang lasa yung ating ravioli, of course. Aside from the dashi that I put on it, yun lang yung magiging lasa niya. So, ang gagawin natin dito, sisweat lang natin siya sa butter. And then, para mag-golden mag brown lang siya. Okay? So, there. We will put butter. Okay? So, this one. So let's just, um, we will just set it, sweat it pala, sweat, sorry. So yan, nagme-melt naman na yung ating um, butter. Then, lagay natin yung tomatoes, baby tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes pala, sorry. So, yan. I-fry lang natin siya para pagka kinain natin siya later, syempre lahat ng lahat ng ilalagay natin sa plate, dapat edible. Okay? So, yan. So, we already have the bacon here. And then, um, we have the tomatoes na. So now guys, ipo-form na natin yung ating ravioli. Transparent ravioli. So we will use a cookie butter. So ayan, let's see. So slowly guys. pumpkin puree. Like so. So, lagyan natin siya ng bacon sa loob para medyo may lasa siya. Okay? And then, Tapos ipo-fold na natin siya, guys. Medyo madulas. Dapat yata bare hand. <laughs> so, ayan, guys. Slowly. Carefully, guys. Like so. And then, tuck it in. Yeah. 
guys, yung ating uh, ating plate, we will just grease it like so. Konting grease lang para hindi dumikit yung ating ravioli. Okay. And then, for our first ravioli, transparent ravioli. There you go. So guys, ganito ang ating transparent ravioli. So guys, um, this is how you plate this. So, ayan yung ating cherry tomatoes. Lailagay lang natin dyan. And then, we have this. Masyadong malaki. So, ayan. Meron tayong scallions or leeks. And then, konting celery leaves on top of it. Like so. And then we'll add some parmesan kasi ito magbibigay ng flavor din dito eh. Just an added flavor on it. So we'll have that. Okay? So guys, syempre titikman natin siya, no? Sabihin nyo naman, hindi natin tinitikman yung ginagawa. So this one, this is how you eat it, guys. So you combine this together. This is a big bite, guys, ha? So guys, you concentrate on the filling or yung sa stuffing. Like for example, ito ginawa ko, pumpkin puree. I already uh, seasoned this with salt and pepper. And then, nilagyan ko rin siya ng butter to add some more flavors on it. Tapos, I use bacon para may lasa siya. Okay, kasi basically, yung inyong transparent ravioli, doesn't have any taste at all. Kahit nilagyan natin siya ng dashi, hindi mo pa rin makipil yung lasa niya. So, better yet, use a strong flavor for your stuffing or your uh, for your filling. Okay? I hope you enjoy this video, guys. And if you have questions, just comment down below. And then, I will put the recipe on the description box. If you like this kind of video, please like Share and subscribe to my channel, Cooking in a Kitchen. Until my next video, guys. Bye!